We are hearing from the parents of the teenager who police say was brutally assaulted by a Delaware state trooper. That state trooper is being charged with multiple felonies for the alleged assault. The 15-year-old was one of two teenagers police say were attacked by the trooper. It all started after one teenager kicked the state trooper's front door. NBC10 Delaware reporter Tim Furlong has the latest. So I just want him held accountable for his actions, and I won't ever see this happen to nobody else. This woman's son was dragged out of his house by law enforcement who mistakenly thought her son was involved in the August front door kick on Trooper Dempsey Walter's house. <laughs> Trooper Walter's now charged with multiple felonies for calling other law enforcement agencies back in August to go after the kids he believed were involved and for assaulting both he and the boy who actually did kick his door. A prank. Prosecutors say when troopers found 15-year-old Jaden, they forcefully put him on the ground, and then when Walters arrived, they say it's on camera when he dropped a knee into his back and then later turned off his body camera and punched Jaden in the face while he was sitting, handcuffed in a police cruiser. The camera actually did, though, record the punch that broke his orbital bone and gave Jaden a concussion. Jaden just went back to school last week, but he is still recovering from headaches, so he's in and out of the nurse's office daily. Trooper Walters is a 29-year-old member of the state police and is now suspended without pay and is set to be fired. The leaders of the state police say they knew right away to send the video to the attorney general's office, but lawyers for the family still want to know how a prank led to such a massive police response from multiple agencies. Why a response with officers in tactical gear? Why a state police helicopter? Why such violence? How did no other trooper or officer step in and question why they were all taking it this far? The family's lawyer don't believe there is this type of response if it wasn't a prank on a law enforcement officer's home. They also say Jaden didn't even know it was a trooper's house, and they say they believe the boys were held far too long without medical attention and without being charged because law enforcement officers needed time to hash out what was happening. And they kept them there for a half an hour while they attempted, we believe, to get their story straight. That is just law enforcement sponsored torture. Please tell me what I did. In Wilmington, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.